Orlando in the routine. I uh, whipped up some sort of a semblance of lunch today, even though I don't really have much in the way of groceries, so I'm still saving cash. And OMG, if you'll remember, my patient gave me some grapefruits from her yard. Well, I just had one for breakfast this morning. Um, it's been like ripening in my refrigerator and it is so superb, so superb. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna buzz on out to clinic now. Um, and that's where Guys, clinic day is done and uh, pretty busy. I'm still jiving on this lime water combination with the sweet leaf vanilla drops. That was a, uh, a good uh, find on my part. I go uh, to Kroger and get some groceries. Problems with being out of town is there's a disruption in the uh, Costco Kroger trifecta. <laughs> tried this youthberry white tea. I always tell myself I'm going to start drinking tea and I can never commit, but this sounds good. It's got pineapple on the side, acai berry, non-caffeinated. Over here my favorite zone, the gold pins. Maybe I should start eating pistachios, change up my nut game a little bit. I'm behind in my uh, vegan yogurt making. Okay, I'm over here in the uh, gluten-free section. And these are on Ibotta. I think I'm gonna get them because I like to have veggie chips as uh, croutons. I think I'm gonna get these naked beet chips. They're just like dehydrated beets. So. I'm not really a juice shrinker, but check this out, guys. It's like a beet energy drink. How funny is that? Endurance enhancing body fuel. It's just beet juice. That's cool. And vi vitamin B12. Oh, I love these Bragg's drinks. The Concord grape one is like my favorite. Um, it's like Welch's grape juice only. Vinegary. Ginger spice is a good one too. These are actually pretty good. I had these once upon a time. All right, so I'm over here in my favorite section ever, the um, seasoning aisle. You guys know I was talking about the other day how I wanted an Indochine, Mrs. Dash. Look, they, they have a Thai chili Weber seasoning, gluten-free. Except this one has salt in it. I'd get into trouble with that. That one looks good. Rufus Teague. Backyard. That one looks good too. I love how it spills over to another one. Oh, here's a salt free Cavender Greek seasoning. If diabetes had wings. <laughs> I secretly love these though. <laughs> I like to get them and open the package and let them get stale. It's just kind of an odd thing I like to do. I, I'm kind of wishing I had gotten that tea. See, I have a bad habit with buying tea. It's teas, I get tempted by them and then I never finish them. It's like the one, it's like the one grocery item that I, I kind of impulsively would get, will get and then never finish. That dull pineapple whip was was pretty good and I think I can recreate it but pineapple guys it has an enzyme called a uh, bromelain in it that uh, can be irritating on your fingertips um, for sure. I'm gonna buzz home now. Well hey guys I just got home and exciting news I got a Vitacost delivery so I thought I would show you guys um, my Kroger little grocery haul and uh, what I got at Vitacost. I have another Vitacost order coming. Coming. I did like a double order back to back um, just to kind of separate out some stuff that I knew I was going to need. Um, so I'll have another one coming for you guys soon but I know you, you guys seem to enjoy it and um, I highly recommend it. I've been really happy with it. Um, so first I'll show you what I got at Kroger. So from Kroger, my grocery store, I got um, two things of uh, the Texas white mushrooms that I'm obsessed with. 
Um, then I got a bag. These will happen to still be on sale, these sweet mini peppers. I love these. I can literally eat the whole bag, but I've been really good about, about rationing them out. Then I got um, two yams because these were on sale for 80 cents a pound. So I think these both for like 40 cents. So I got two yams and then I also got, I also got a sweet potato. Yeah, when I ate at Sweet Tomatoes in Orlando, um, and I noticed they have one here, but when I ate there, they had um, they have a baked potato buffet, and you can get a baked potato, and they also have baked little sweet potatoes. And so I had gotten one. I I hadn't had a baked sweet potato in a, a little while, and so now I'm kind of on that craving kick of baked sweet potatoes. And the I also picked up a, a white onion, and then some more fresh ginger and a head of garlic because I mean you really just can't survive without I can't survive without a, a, an onion and garlic in my household like at all times um, I also got some organic raisins from the bulk bin look at what a great deal this was only 98 cents for these I like buying them there this was something that I got a rebate for my bottle with it's a whole earth uh, nature sweet uh, stevia and monk fruit blend it's a little packet so we'll see how it goes and then, as I pointed out in the store, I also got the Rhythm Superfoods beet chips, um, which were on Ibotta, so I was able to get a rebate on these. I'm excited to try them. You know, I normally like to get the veggie chips from the bulk bin. Um, these are just beets. Um, that's the only ingredient, so that's cool. They're vegan. Um, And then because I'm kind of behind on making my nut milks and my yogurt since I've been out of town, I, I went ahead and picked up some more uh, cashew milk from Silk that I like. And they had, the cartons were on sale, so I picked up two of them because these don't go bad. And then I'm obsessed with these little um, frozen steam bag, these little steamer bags of frozen, I call them convenience cauliflowers. It's just frozen cauliflower and um, I will eat this entire bag in one sitting. It's like four servings. Um, so I got four of these um, since I wasn't able to get my um, organic rice cauliflower at Costco this week. Okay, so that's everything I got at Kroger, but from Vitacost, I'll show you what I got next. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Vitacost brand uh, shirataki noodles. I think they're honestly the best shirataki noodles I've ever had. Well, they also have shirataki rice um, that I wanted to give a try. Um, so I got a ton of it. Uh, I can't imagine it's bad. And I thought this was cool. Um, I wanted to try making like a rice pudding with it, uh, with my raisins and uh, maybe some coconut milk. I wanted to try this, maybe mix it in with my cauliflower rice. It seemed to, to offer a lot of potential. So I got uh, like six of them. Then you guys know I love the Power Pack Vitamin C um, Electrolyte Stamina brand. This flavor, I've been talking about the pomegranate blueberry. I don't drink this for, I don't drink this for any sort of vitamin benefit, although it claims to have 1200 milligrams of vitamin C. I assume I just pee all of that out because vitamin C is water soluble. I drink this because it uh, is like a replacement for um, artificially sweetened drinks. It has actual sugar, but only one gram of it, so in one packet. And uh, so I found that this has been a respectable substitute for like crystal light and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm obsessed with this vegetarian no chicken chicken, vegetarian no chicken broth, a low sodium one by Imagine. I got some more of my textured soy protein that I like. This, If you're sensitive to soy or have issues with soy, you won't like this, but it is gluten free organic non-gmo and I just find that um, I get a lot of use out of it so I got another bag of that and then I also got these brown lentils uh, from Shiloh Farms um, which are organic and I guess kosher too I am so obsessed with this Hillary's tomato kalamata dressing as it says here on the label free from common allergens this one's totally vegan egg free corn free nut free uh, but it's really delicious and then some more apple cider vinegar from my friend Patricia and Paul P and P and then love the Vitacost brand of P PB slim the powdered peanut butter this tastes exactly like the other stuff it's like a few bucks cheaper claims to be non-gmo and bpa free so if that's your jam and this will meet your needs 
And then I love my sea vegetables, so I picked up some, so I went ahead and ordered some arame. I hope I'm saying that right. I love this stuff in soups. It's really good. It's a lot finer uh, kind of shred than some of the other sea vegetables. So I like to have that. I also got some more kombu. And then you guys know that I've recently tried to make some more plant-based switches and kind of eliminate, uh, try and mitigate uh, dairy in my diet. And so I've been sort of on the quest for a non-way uh, non protein powder. PE Science is a brand of protein powders that I've heard like YouTubers rave about on here and it's supposedly really good. And they came out with a vegan one and I've heard really good things about it. It is, here's what it looks like. It's the PE Select. Um, I got it in the vanilla indulgence. That's my, that's everything I got on VitaCost. And like I said, I have another, haul, I have another order coming. So, um, but anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff away and head to the gym and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, I'm home back from the gym and I'm uh, coming in with my uh, CeraVe healing ointment here as per usual. I am really glad to be back in my usual skincare routine. My skin, just uh, for four, the four or five days that I was in Orlando, I didn't really adequately keep up with my body moisturizer, to be honest. I kind of just relied on the um, lotion that they provided in the hotel, and it was not enough. I um, definitely have some dryness on my skin and upper arms. So I was really happy to come back in with my Eucerin. I love this Smoothing Repair Light Lotion for the body. It's great. It's just the right amount of thickness, and it has ceramides in it, which I love for... Um, for restoring the skin barrier when it's dry and parched and, and helping to seal the, the water in. I'm still loving this charity pot that Karakori Fit Life um, sent me. It's really great on the upper arms. It's a, it's a nice lightweight uh, lotion and it has just a subtle scent. So I've been enjoying that. But yeah, it's a ton of fun to share products with you guys and like kind of my thoughts on if they're doing anything or not. And you guys ask a ton of great questions. So I think it's a lot of fun that we can we can share and learn from each other um, kind of skincare experiences. Sometimes when um, you guys leave a comment, I might respond. Um, best to see your healthcare professional. And that's not meant to uh, dismiss you in any way. Uh, it's merely, you know, what you're asking kind of extends beyond, uh, you know, sharing a tip about a moisturizer for dry skin. That's kind of, that's the, the purpose of my channel, guys, is really to share with you all um, a knowledge-based approach to skincare. Um, but sometimes you all ask questions which are really smart, and I sense that uh, the underlying problem is something that might need to be evaluated and, and managed by, by your physician. So that's why I respond that way, not like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, that's why I respond that way, and um, it's not, it's fine to, feel free to ask as many questions as you want, but if I respond that way, that, that's kind of the, uh, that's the thought process. What you're asking, the type of a response extends beyond what's appropriate for a YouTube channel about, you know, skincare and beauty and, and, and skincare health, so. But I love you guys' comments and questions, and you all were so um, so delightful with uh, the Orlando vlog. It seems like y'all really enjoyed them, so that makes me really happy. Anyways, I am so happy to be back in my own little space. Uh, Orlando was great, but it's nice to be back in, in the familiar. Um, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.